Coming to you live from Slayman Main Stadium in Tara Bay, home of the Mutineers. The stadium is filled to capacity, and this crowd is really feeling it. Grim, pirates don't feel much unless the feelings include the rust they get from gunning a man from head to toe and spill his guts out onto the dock. Well, you got that right, partner. One place in football. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Carolina Panzers battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Woohoo! Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. All oh, week, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Down and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one. 
Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Touch the quarterback just like that. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. He was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Second down, and we've got a... Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Let's see if they can get a rip. He's got the ball now. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man. Five on that play. Third down and five. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Hunter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, Who's next? First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, man, what a throw. That sonic blast just cleared the field. Ah! He took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot 
One, a two. At this point, with both by reception, the QB, boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, great throw, great catch, and then put six points on the board. The defense could do anything to stop a throw that good, man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's still anyone's game. And that'll be second and eight to go. Watch the game. He breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. And he misses that extra point. Oh, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. With the punishing hit. Third and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot eight. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden the Axe Murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. 
And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now and is going to try it back, my friends. Was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. I ate a piece of licorice once and got a shot by me. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was the freight cords of the leaf blower. Second down and six. continues to climb. And he scores! He deserves to celebrate like that after such a hard drive. Ah, I'm killing myself here. Hey, what did I say about puns? points so they're going for two and the defense stops him cold that play just got blown to hell blown to shit. speaking of blow where's my little mile for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't right now what day is it second down and long oh and he just left an outline on the ground like oh holy smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. It's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggler. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is the offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah, First down and forever. And they're 
picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Second down in a very lot. He refuses to go down. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And it's first and ten. And they'll keep the drive alive as he rifles it in there and picks up seven yards. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit them. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. Second and three. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. Third down and three. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Yeah. The mutineers get buried today and lose by forfeit. Man, it's brutal out there. Body parts everywhere. They had a better chance of baptizing a herd of cats than winning this game. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Yeah, man, I was hanging on the now. You know what Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not having...